gonna be focusing on higher order derivatives. So, di ba? Um, one of the symbol we used in a derivative is this symbol or yung y prime. So, in higher order derivative, this is called as the first derivative. So, since higher order derivative tayo, meron tayong second derivative which is represented as, as this one. Meron tayong tinatawag na third derivative which is represented as this one. Meron tayong tinatawag na fourth derivative which is represented as this one. Meron din tayong tinatawag na fifth derivative which is represented as this one and so on. Okay, for the first example, say we have y is equal to x raised to 4 minus 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 15x minus 4. And we are asked to find for the fifth derivative. So, bago tayo makarating sa fifth derivative, we are going to answer first for um, the first, second, third, and fourth derivative. So, sunod-sunod muna natin siyang sasagutan. Okay? So, um, answering for the first derivative, okay, by applying the rules again in um, differentiation. So, we'll have here, for the derivative of x raised to 4, so we'll have 4x cubed. Then, minus the derivative of 2x cubed, we have 6x squared. Then, plus the derivative of 5x squared, we have 10x. Then, minus the derivative the derivative of 15x, which is equal to 15. And, meron pa tayong constant na zeros. Uh, the derivative of 4, which is 0, so hindi natin kailangan isulat. Okay, so this is the answer for the first derivative. Okay, so we need to differentiate this expression one more time to get to the second differentiation. Okay? Uh, so, the symbol for the second derivative. And then, um, again, applying the rules in differentiation. Um, the derivative of 4x cubed, so we'll have 12x squared. Minus the derivative of 6x squared, we have 12x. Then, plus the derivative of 10x, which is equal to 10. And then, again, meron tayong derivative of constant 15, which is 0. So, nasa second derivative na tayo. Okay, so let's differentiate again one more time for the third derivative. Okay, so the third derivative is equal to the derivative of 12x squared. So, we have 24x minus the derivative of 12x, which is 12, and then plus the derivative of the constant 10, which is 0. Okay, let's differentiate again for the fourth derivative. The derivative of 24x, which is equal to 24, and then minus the derivative of 12, so shy 0. And lastly, so we are asked to find for the fifth deriv derivative. And the fifth derivative is, so derivative of 24, so it's a constant, so it will be equal to 0. So the final answer, since we are asked to find for the fifth derivative, so ito yung fifth derivative ng function natin, so it is equal to zero okay second example for higher order derivatives we have y is equal to x raised to fifth plus 3x raised to negative 2 plus 4x and we are asked to find for the third derivative okay so bago tayo again makarating sa third derivative dadaan muna tayo sa first and second derivative okay for the first derivative we have 5x raised to 4 and then we have here the derivative of 3x raised to negative 2, which is equal to negative 6x raised to negative 3. And then uh, the derivative of positive 4x, so we have positive 4. And then for the second derivative, we have 20x raised to 3, then um, plus... So, we'll have here 18x raised to negative 4. 
Okay, so let's differentiate again one more time so that we'll come up with the third derivative. So we'll have here 6t x squared minus 72 x raised to negative 5. Okay, so that is uh, the answer since we are asked for the third derivative. And last example, for higher order derivatives, we have y is equal to 2x plus 1 over x plus 2. And we are asked to find for the second derivative. So, based on the given, we'll use the quotient rule. So, lagyan natin ang label. So, we have u over v here. Okay, let's find first the first derivative. So, as you may notice sa given natin, so we'll use the quotient rule. By applying it, so we'll have um, to write the value of v, which is x plus 2, then multiplied to the derivative of u, which is 2x plus 1, and yung derivative niya is equal to 2, then minus the value of u, which is 2x plus 1, multiplied to the derivative of v which is x plus 2 so on derivative niya is 1 then all over x plus 2 squared and then uh, let's uh, simplify what's in the numerator so let we will distribute 2 to x plus 2 so we'll have 2x plus 4 minus so, 2x minus 1. So, distribute na natin yung negative sign. So, we'll have negative 2x minus 1. All over x plus 2 squared. Then, let's combine like terms. So, cancel out yung 2x and negative 2x since it will be equal to 0. Now, we're left with 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3 over x plus 2 squared. Okay, so that is for the first derivative. So, proceed na tayo sa second derivative natin. Okay, so we can use here the ninth rule by separating the constant 3. So, we'll have 3 multiplied to 1 over x plus 2 squared. By applying the ninth rule, we'll have 3 multiplied to negative 2 over x plus 2 raised to 2 plus 1, which will be equal to 3. Then multiply to the derivative of x plus 2, which is equal to 1. Then let's simplify this. So we'll have 3 multiplied to negative 2 multiplied to 1. So we'll have negative 6 over x plus 2 raised to 3. And that is uh, the answer for the second derivative of the given function. Now, I want you to try these examples on your own and the answers will be revealed on our next online meeting. And we thank you guys for listening and we hope that you learned. Goodbye!